currency or the energy. Brain is the most energy demanding organ. And with all types of dementia, with all types of neurodegeneration and in healthy aging starting from the age of 45, the levels of ATP decline. In 2020, there are of course multiple very um, complex mechanisms of the ATP generation. By the way, my background is also in mitochondrial biology and bioenergetics, and mitochondria are the small cellular plants in the cells, and they produce the ATP, actually, the energy uh, mostly. What I want to say is that the energy gap originates and uh, it's a very complex um, underlying mechanism. There is a number of mechanisms. And the very good article or review was published in Nature Science by Steve Kunain, um, our colleague who combined every target which can exist in the brain, which leads to the uh, energy decline. It is called brain energy gap. We are proposing metaholine, our composition, um, to address the brain energy gap, the vicious circle of losing ATP production and neurodegeneration being associated with the energy gap. We are offering combination of salt of choline succinate, which is a novel combination patented, and nicotinamide together. And we are presenting the first multi-targeted composition because metaholine addresses several targets in the whole process of the brain energy um, gap. We know that we need all and utilize glucose for the ATP production. There is a complex biochemical reactions, tricarbonic acid cycle, and we are affecting and trying to patch this all with introducing metaholine as, a, as an ingredient, as a nutritional fortification in the daily diet. Why? Because it all, these are all components are metabolites, which means that they are present in the human body. Therefore, the toxicity level, safety levels, all established. These components were studied before uh, quite for a long time, um, but they've never been studied in this combination. What uh, dihaline succinate salt uh, has been discovered and synthesized 20 years ago by the Russian chemist. And when I came across this patent, I knew that it will work on mitochondria because it consists of succinate, which is the mitochondrial substrate for complex two of the electron transport chain. And choline is also an essential bioactive ingredient and present in every cognitive enhancing nutraceutical on the market. What Igor's work, my co-founder, was devoted for the last 15 years of studying this novel salt of dihaline succinate in the insulin pathway regulation. He was able to show that it is an insulin receptor sensitizer, insulin receptor A, which is typical for neuronal tissue and in the brain. There are two types of insulin receptors, A and B. And he was also, and we all know that insulin resistance is the major cause now coming for the forefront to address the origin of neurodegenerative disease and the lack of the ATP production in the brain. We also were able to show in our experimental work that uh, Metaholine, when applies, increases the levels of NADH. There is no need to say what NADH is. It's the enzymatic shuttle, which is the most cited in the anti-aging research. And in, um, yes. So we were able to show that in uh, neuronal cultures, the actual work was done in neuronal cultures and in astrocytes. And we showed that the combined effect of novel dihaline salt of succinic acid and nicotine amide together work in synergy enhancing the ATP level production. Because all the components are metabolites, we were able to show also the effect in humans asking a healthy volunteer to consume a metaholine for a certain amount of days. And we were able to show with the magnetic resonance spectroscopy non-invasive method that the pool of phosphocreatinine, the precursor for ATP, is actually increased uh, very physiologically, intrinsically on the day seven and 
2016. So all this, including the small informal clinical trial, which we conducted starting on the students and um, in the people aged 60, uh, were able to show the effect of chronic methylene intake as a supplement or as a nutritional fortification or just simply being in the diet. And it elevated the mental focus and fatigue. 